Welcome everybody, it's RMT Aquila. If you're new, welcome specifically to you. Um, so I need to talk about politics for a second. Um, in the district where I live, uh, the congressional district, we had the primary a couple of weeks ago and the Democratic candidate for my district uh, that won in her primary is anti-trans. So now if I vote for either major party candidate, I'm voting for someone who is working against my interests actively. On her campaign website, which is really kind of Spartan, uh, just below her portrait, it's, as she says, Women and children deserve safety, respect, and, in, and dignity. Non-women should not displace us or intrude into women's and children's sports and bathrooms. The only way this could be any clearer is if she point blank said, you know, pointed out trans people. Um, and now I'm not going to get into the debate of whether or not trans women are trim or are women that's that's actually a red herring what anti-trans people because they're not transphobic phobic is an irrational fear these people are simply anti-trans they are making moves and policies that remove trans people from public life. Going to men's bathroom for a trans woman is categorically dangerous, especially here in Georgia, where, you know, and I benefit from the policy of permitless carry, or I have in the past, I do, I do have a permit because I travel. Um, and there are significant segments of the population that have anti-trans views. And now I'm forced into a position where I'm voting, no matter who I vote for, I'm voting against my own interests. And that should be, that's not a place that I really want to be. Now, a lot of people are vote blue no matter who. Well, when you adopt that sort of stance, what you're saying is you approve of any policy decision simply because someone has a D after their name. Let me be clear. The Democratic Party does not care about individuals. It can't. It's too large and of an organization with too many people, too many functions. They exist to acquire and exercise power. That is it. They're politicians and support staff for politicians. Think about who you are voting for. Dive into their policies. How, what are they? How will they work? Because you have people like this that fly in under the radar simply because they have a D next to their name. Now granted, because she's anti-trans, because she has some pretty right-wing uh, policy points. She has a better chance in the district, and I understand that. But as an organization, if you say that you care, ab organizationally, you care about trans rights, and you put forward someone who violates that, what does that say about you as an organization? 
you're not telling me that you care about trans rights. When you bankroll people like this. Now, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. Not going to tell you how to vote. But dig into these motherfuckers with an e-tool. Hold them accountable. You, the voter, are the root of their power. Don't let them forget that. And I, if she gets elected, I will absolutely be up her ass. Especially as a fellow soldier. Because I know what right looks like. And I'm not willing to let somebody, simply because they're in an elected position of power, tell me what my rights are and how human I get to fucking be. Katie Stamper? Yeah. I'm going to fucking find you and I'm going to hold your ass to the fire. Please believe. I give you my word as a fucking NCO that I will hold you to account. My rights are not negotiable. Fuck you. <laughs>